guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cupquake. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're gonna be checking out a brand new game. Well, brand new to the channel. Um, this is a game that came up in my Steam queue and it is called Cinders. It looked so beautiful and I normally don't play these type of games, but it just looked awesome. The soundtrack sounds amazing and it got really, really good reviews. And I'm a huge fan of fairy tales and uh, stuff like that. So I decided that we should check it out. Um, so the description for this game is a mature take on classic fairy tales with a heavy emphasis on player's choice. And I was reading the comments uh, from the game and people were saying that there's so many different endings and choices. Um, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. Not only for the story, but for the artwork. Um, it's a total atmospheric game. So let's take a trip into the world of Cinders. I'm excited about this. All right, I'm putting both headphones on just to get in the in the zone. Uh, I still can't believe I've been delaying this for so long. It makes me wonder if I decided to act earlier, maybe things wouldn't be so broken between us. Maybe with just a little effort, this family wouldn't fall apart like this. But I suppose it was easier to complain and do nothing rather than try to change things. Isn't it always? Tonight, it's different. This is the night of change, the night where my plans finally take effect. I can hear my stepsisters talking in soft voices in the hall. I imagine they too won't get any sleep tonight. During the last few days, I've learned so much more about them, but can it erase all the years that tormented, they tormented and humiliated me? Okay, playing Cinders is a bit like reading a book. However, you are often presented with a choice of what to say, think, or do. Your decisions will shape the story ahead. Okay. So, I don't know what to think about it. Let's see. People deserve a second chance. Should get what they deserve. Deserve a second chance. You can't erase the past, that's for sure. But I know that sometimes we don't choose our fates. Were circumstances different by my stepsisters could be good people. We could be friends. Whatever happens, I hope they won't come into harm. They deserve another chance. And here they are. Meanwhile, in the hallway. I still can't believe she did it. I would never have suspected. Of course, because everyone is a dim-witted is as dim-witted as you are and never does anything about out of the ordinary or unexpected. Oh yes, I'm sure you were able to foresee what would happen. Did you see it in tea leaves or read it in a children's book one afternoon while avoiding work and being useless as usual? Oh my, mean. I did entertain the thought that she might do something like this if you must know, but believe what you want, I don't care. I also suspect she might try to do something. So, was, so, she was so secretive and complained at times uh, that an explosion seemed inevitable. I just didn't expect she had it in her. Gloria, please, sometimes you sound like a cliché villain from a bad romance novel. Of course, if something isn't twisted, weird, or shocking, then you won't consider it. Not everyone is like you, Sophia. Uh, I know not everyone is, you're not, though you try your best to be like a mother, always responding the same way regardless of the situation, predictable, boring, and stupid. But you are not Carmosa, remember? You do not lead, you mindlessly follow, and it shows. Damn, these girls are angry. Shut up, you. Oh, open up, open up, in the name of the prince. It's him. Why did he have to come, and in the middle of the night? Will the wonders ev never cease? I guess this night of change is not over yet. Just as your ridiculous cliche impersonates, impersonations uh, aren't done yet either. There's no time for this now, though I'm sure mother will deal with you later. I'll go summon her. You do that. Open up, I won't repeat myself. Oh, it's mother. Mother! 
Sophia, don't stand like that. Open the door. Let that noisy man in. Yes, mother. Lady Carmo, okay. Ah, Captain, what brings you here at this time of night? Spare me the false pleasantries. You know why I'm here. Where is she? Very well, Sophia. Get cinders right away. Yes, mother. Be quick about it, child. Captain, would you fancy some wine while we wait for my lazy stepdaughter? Don't push it. You know this is not a courtesy visit. I'm afraid a lot is going to change here tonight. We know how the story goes, Cinders. He's right, nothing will ever be the same, nothing. I must admit, I'm afraid of it too. Some independent woman I am. Cinders, mother has summoned you. Move, you know she doesn't like to wait. Fine, fine, I'm moving, just give me a moment. Make sure it's quick. Cinders, can I, can I ask you something? Yes, Sophia. This whole situation, what happened this evening and the guard bashing at our door and all, it's because of you, right? You planned it. What did I, what did I, I didn't plan it. I didn't plan it. <laughs> um, let's tell the truth. Yes, I guess so. I guess so. I definitely made it happen. Funny, it all started with my stepmother summoning me, just like now. Seven days earlier. What a beautiful morning. The last few days were all rain and gloom, but today is different. This is my cinder's voice, I guess. Today is full, wait, today is summer in its fullest. It's so nice to see the sun again. It can get pretty cold in this room of mine. Although I don't feel so frisky right now, I could use more beauty sleep. I shouldn't have burned the midnight oil after, or over a book last night. Burn the midnight oil over a book. And a silly book too. Some adolescent girl pretty and numb as a freshly cut flower. I guess this is my princess voice. Listen guys, role playing here. I don't do it often, but I love princesses. Shows divine humility and courage while suffering oppression from her abusive family. Who writes these things? And do they really want young women to develop this martyr-like attitude? Funny though, if it isn't really that bad and makes me so angry, why did I read it in the first place? Maybe something in it really echoes a part of my own experiences? I don't know, and I'm not going to spend the morning wondering about it. Of course, it isn't as if I'll get to enjoy the day either. Lady Carmosa will certainly make sure that I have to do the worst chores. The old hag could use any of her servants, but no, she always sends me. I get the feeling she simply wants to humiliate me. If only father was still here on a day like this, he would surely take me to the forest. We always went to the lake, the magical lake, as he called it, and left a loaf of bread under the old tree. Gotta play tribute to the fairies. You never know when you may need their help. Ooh, the fairies. Good old man. He used to tell me stories about the little folk, even when I was far too old to believe them anymore. I miss him so much. But enough daydreaming. Honestly, I talk to myself way too often these days. It's only a moment before I start considering my and sparrows my only friend. <laughs> and we will go frolicking and singing together. <laughs> what a sight that would be. Luckily, I know better than that. I may get lonely sometimes, but I'm not empty-headed. Time to get up, cinders. The day has only just started. And you never know what the future may bring. Cinders, that's me. <laughs> I still have some time before my sisters wake up. I could start my cleaning duties to have more time later, or I could try to finish that book I was reading last night. Or I could seize the opportunity to do sweet nothing. It's not like I have time for myself very often. What should I do? Laze around! I love being lazy! 
Since my father's death, Carmosa and her daughters treat me as their servant. Cinders, do the cleaning. Cinders, go to town. Cinders, why isn't my dress washed yet? Ah, I hate it so much. I'm sure they won't be any different today, or today won't be any different, but not yet. I still have some time. The sun is shining and the morning air is so fresh. Something it's, or sometimes it's great to just sit down and enjoy the day. I wonder if Carmosa and my sisters can still do it. Just sit down and relax. Let your mind wander freely and worry about nothing. Ha, I don't think so. I bet they're all, or they are too stuck up for that. What? They're always busy trying to prove or gain something. Never really taking the time to enjoy the fruits of their labor. My, my life may not be a fairy tale lately. But it's good to know I have something that they can take away. They can't take away. The morning air is so soothing. <laughs> I think I'll take a nap. What? No, why? Cinders, are you there? That surely didn't last too long. Cinders, where are you? You're so hopeless. Stop blazing around and move. Mother wishes to see you immediately. She wishes to see me? Did she tell you what she wants? No, of course not. Why won't or this? Okay, I gotta like make a, a bad voice for her. Like a mean sister voice. Not like that though. <laughs> no, of course not. Why would she? And why would I ask or want to ask in the first place? She looked rather angry though. That doesn't sound good. I hope I'm not in some kind of trouble again. You really could ask, could have asked her, you know? I think you mistook me for one of those gentle, well-mannered, noble girls who care about others. Sorry to break it to you, but I don't. Ooh. If you're in trouble, that means I get a free pass today. So I'm rooting for it with all my heart, sis. Sophia. My, aren't you the one charming human being? Thank you. Now hurry up and let's go already. Oh, shut up. All right, what are, what are they calling upon me for today? I used to play in this hall as a child, but this building isn't much of home anymore. Ever since my father passed away, it feels like this place is just an empty shell. It's so pretty. Carmessa does her best to keep the residence in its former splendor, and I guess most would be fooled by it. But for me, this place feels like it's fading away. Oh. So you didn't get lost after all. Gloria. I was starting to think that you wouldn't find your way. But it seems you were just taking your precious time with no regard for the rest of us. You're as hopelessly irresponsible as this sister of mine. No wonder that mother can't count on anyone other than me in this house. Gloria. She's the really mean one. Don't tell me you got caught up daydreaming about some prince coming to save you. Not really, no, did you? Well, after all, not really. Not really, I'm not a little girl anymore, Gloria. I learned a long time ago that I can't rely on anybody but myself. No prince is going to magically appear and rescue me. My, my, you really are more intelligent than you look. And you've already learned such a great life lesson at such a young age. I'm impressed. I suppose you have that much over Sophia, at least. The stupid girl still clings to her childish fairy tales. Hey! Hmm. Well, it's none of my business what she does in that empty mind of hers. There are more pressing issues at the moment. Specifically, Mother would like to speak to you. She says she has a special job for you, no doubt something rudimentary enough for you to handle. So you were sent here to fetch me then? Mother entrusts me with important tasks. Don't mistake me for being on your level. You wait here. I'll let her know that you finally rolled out of bed. Um, are you not tired of this? Don't you ever get tired of all this? Tired? What are you babbling about? 
You try so hard to be like Carmosa. You dress like her, you speak like her, and yet she still treats you as little more than a servant. Damn, girl! I can't believe it. Did I really just shut her up? I was expecting an insult at the very least. The room feels empty again. Even Gloria's presence is better than nothing. Truthfully, I feel bad for her. I may be the servant around here, but her situation isn't that different from mine. Both Gloria and Sophia spend every walking moment doing Carmosa's bidding. Just because it's not scrubbing floors doesn't mean they're not servants, too. Oh, here she is! Okay! So, you're finally up, you lazy girl. Can't anyone in this house just do what I ask them? I swear you feeble-minded girls are going to be the death of me. Ugh. Ugh. No. I would hate living with... I think I would want to move out. Get my own place. Bah! You've wasted too much of my time already. I have a job for you. Go into town and find the merchant, Tobias. I need you to pay him for the servant... Er, for a certain service. I'm giving you 200 souverines exactly. Don't you dare lose them. I must be a fool to entrust you with this much money, but unfortunately, I've no one else to send. I have better plans for those two useless daughters of mine. Now hurry up, child. Time is of the essence. Carmosa has been speaking to me this whole time, alternating between insults and orders. Do I really have to silently accept this? Oh god. Uh, sure. I don't feel like dealing with it. Okay, I'll go. Really? Finally, someone wise enough not to question my orders. If only my daughters would follow suit. I have other things to deal with now. Don't dawdle. Dawdle? Understood? Right. I suppose it could be worse. A trip to town isn't such a terrible thing. It's a beautiful day and a great excuse to get away from the house. I won't even get in trouble for leaving as quickly as I can. Besides, Tobias has always been nice to me, so I'll enjoy seeing him again. This could be a rather pleasant trip. La 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 la, going to town. So here's the residence. I'm going into the forest. Let's go into the forest. <gasps> Can I see some fairies here? Okay, I suppose I should be grateful, even though Carmosa practically kicked me out of the house. It's better than staying there. Okay. It really is beautiful here, and it isn't, it's a much need to break from the toxic house. The lake that my father took me to as a child isn't far away, too. I really miss our trips to the lake. It would be nice to visit again, if only for the sake of memories. I wonder if I have enough time. Carmosa didn't tell me to hurry, after all. Yes, let's go to the lake! Yes! Let's go! Being a rebel. Carmosa will yell at me when I get back, no matter what I do. It's impossible to please that woman. Well, I suppose a trip to the lake wouldn't make a difference one way or another. It's been so long since my last visit, and I do miss it. I'll go. I just want to see this beautiful lake. <gasps> Pretty. I'm glad I choose to come. This place is just as beautiful as when Father used to take me here. As a child, I knew that this place was magical, but I've outgrown fairy tales now. Still, there is a, there's something to this place. It feels enchanted. Maybe it's because it hasn't changed a bit since I was a little brat. I remember that father would always leave a gift for the fairies every time we visited. Maybe I could do the same. Sure, why not? What am I going to leave? I should have brought something with me. I really don't own anything that would make a proper gift anyway. What about some bread? Well, it's the intent behind the gift that actually matters more than the actual gift. As long as I'm honoring the fairies, they'll appreciate it. That's what Father would say. I guess he really was a big child deep inside. I think I'll leave... I'll weave a wreath? Aw, oh, out of some flowers here! I'm sure the fairies would appreciate that. Hmm, it's coming along nicer than expected. It's been such a long time since I did anything like this, it feels a little nostalgic. It's funny how when we grow up we start rejecting things we consider childish, only to return to them later with great joy. I think I'll leave this wreath under that old oak. That's where Father always left our gifts when we came. I've spent too long here already! I need to get into town! Uh-oh, losing track of time! Okay, let's go to town. 
I wanted to see the flower thing. Finally at town. I should probably head straight to Tobias' shop. Strange. What's that crowd over there? Everyone seems to be surrounding the building. I wonder if someone around here can tell me what's going on. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you tell me what the crowd is for? Oh, child, haven't you heard? A bunch of good-for-nothing thugs took their hideout there. Bastards kidnapped a child. I'm sure you know it's market day today. A lot of folk come into town to trade their wares, but there is also the unwelcome element. You know what I mean? What if the merchants caught some ruffians red-handed stealing from him? Like it's no one's business. So we naturally grabbed whatever pointy thing came in handy and made sure these low lowlifes... No, we don't... Ooh, take kindly to Dave's in this town. But those scum... Grab... Those scum grabbed a child and locked themselves up in that house. They're threatening to kill the brat. Uh, if anyone tries to enter. That's horrible. Um, oh, the poor mother. Thank goodness some lads notice Peralt. The captain of the prince's guard drinking in the inn. A few men went to fetch him from the tavern. He grabbed the blade of his and went into the house without saying a thing. I wish that good-for-nothing husband of mine would be so brave. But he's only good for drinking and complaining, I tell ya. It's been silent, like a graveyard in the night, since the captain went in. Who knows what happened there? Oh, such awful times we live in. That truly is sad. Thank you for telling me. I hope the child doesn't get hurt. If the captain and the guard plans to fight, it's sure to be dangerous in there. Wait, everyone has stopped talking. Did something happen? Someone is coming outside. It's the captain of the guard. The child is safe now. Someone get rid of the bodies. Oh. Dang! Peralt. Wow, did he just take care of an entire gang of bandits on his own? He acts like it wasn't a big deal. He just disappeared without even waiting for any thanks. It feels as if he didn't even care what anyone thinks of him. I'm intrigued to know what sort of man could do something so heroic and yet remain so emotionless about the, th the whole thing. It looks like the child has been reunited with his mother. What a relief. Uh-oh, I'm running late now. I'd better go see Tobias right away. Okay, we're in Tobias' store, and I think I'm going to end this episode here. I'm enjoying it so far. What do you guys think? Um, the illustrations are awesome. Um, barely getting into the story, but I hear good things about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is something different that we do, but you know what? I just feel like chilling. Story time with Cupcake whatever. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Leave a like on the video and I will try to continue this really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cupcake and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Peace!